So we do have the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. We have to be patient about something, right? We might, um, somebody might have blocked us. That's a Nine of Wands, but actually it is a matter of time. Seven of Pentacles, King of Cups, might be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And they show up here right away telling you, I'm a little bit emotional. I'm still deciding. I'm in my feelings. Uh, Page of Cups, Princess of Cups in this deck. This is I apologize, right? I apologize for blocking you. Please be patient with me. Okay. Well, that's right here. So that's another one. Ace of Wands. Oh, and by the way, you know I don't read reversals with this deck, right? Ace of Wands. I want you. I desire you. I have fantasies about you. That's Ace of Wands. You know? It's like I imagine myself making love to you, kind of, or us, right? Four of Swords, peace of mind. Healing of the mind. Might be a breakup, but it's the energy of stillness and silence and patience. Somebody needs the time. So let's see bottom of the deck. For the most important energy, and again, I would say April um, can be the third one, the third week, so... Um, it's starting April 21st, right? Or something like that, the fourth week, anyways. Um, hey, bottom of the deck, we do have the King of uh, Swords. This is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the Eight of Swords, right? Somebody, it's, um, honestly, you know how it feels, um, Leo? This is the energy of, I have to be rational, I have to be mathematical, I have to be understanding, I have to have good communication, I have to. Of course, for some of you, you might be bound to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, but I'm sensing more in regards to this love, this is the energy of cool-headed, you know? I mean, I have to have a cool head because we are in a mental prison here. We do have the Eight of Swords, right, Leo? You might be bound to somebody, uh, someone... Um, you don't see a way out uh, for some of you. And King of Swords is really a little bit of taking control, level-headed kind of, and, um, you know, coming from a place of um, mental strength, um, a distance of perspective, of communication, that kind of energy. And we'll see before we jump to conclusions here. So let's see, past energies, Leo, on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's see, current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome, and then we, we uh, move towards the advice, the guidance. Bottom of the deck, King of Swords again. Swear to God, that is for somebody needs to hear a message. And it has something to do with the King of Swords. Might be another person, for some of you, might be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody has an offer for you, or you have for somebody, but it's one that is, um, you know, really um, practical. And, um, you know, with the swords, is um, it's kind of well thought, but in the same time, a little bit kind of distant, but we'll see. So that is a message for, for some of you. Um, Leo, King of Swords, we know he, um, he's the man in the uniform. So the lawyer, the judge, law enforcement, we know. So maybe you are dealing with somebody from the justice system or you work in the justice system. And that's how, you know, we get the energy of the King of Swords. But that is a strong message for somebody there. So Leo, uh, in the past on your side, we do have the Empress and we have the Will. So we know what this means when we have the Empress on our side. It speaks of um, everything you had, you gave it to this person, right? This is um, being kind, being generous, being creative, sensual, playful, stable. Um, you know, offering your world of abundance in every way possible. I mean, that is, that is nobody above the Empress. Probably you had children for some of you with this person. This is um, family and children, legacy and the whole uh, from a place of power and a place of um, I know exactly what I want. And then the universe kind of kicked in and, um, you know, probably after placing a couple of um, red flags, right? The universe changed something for you. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. 
of course it is fate and karma so at some point uh, you know it felt like you know they are the one and that's uh, you know they are your destiny and that is why um probably you've been so um generous to this person and um and and then there was a cycle right that's a wheel of fortune you know the universe is like um sometimes has something better for you and then takes away from you whatever whatever was um meant to be yours right so the person on your uh you know the person you are dealing with in the past they do have the three of pentacles um and the hangman and you know what i do love the uh the three of pentacles is the energy of working of effort is the energy of teamwork is the energy of building something with you is the energy of bringing skills to the table being quite determined to make it work and then they have the hangman right the suspension in time the sacrifice uh the breakup in love readings right the breakup the pause in momentum it's um and on their side, it's, um, it's the hangman. So it's a breakup that made them think, you know, um, um, the breakup that made them illuminated in some way. The hangman has the, uh, the yellow aura, the traditional um, deck, right? <clears throat> has the yellow uh, aura of reflection, introspection, knowledge, awakening and awareness. So it was not any kind of breakup, but for you it was at uh, the end of a cycle, right? With the uh, with the circle, and it um, came down to something. Um, mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the Moon, uh, Pisces energy, and the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's uh, the fear of commitment, right? It's the fear of um, building something for the future study and, and for the whole, you know, for the rest of your life, kind of. Um, the moon, we know it's um, the energy of disappearing and ghosting. So it's it feels like somebody took your offer and fully disappeared, right? That's, uh, that's the energy of the moon, but it's also the energy of the lost. So... Um, probably somebody got lost in the process. It's both of you because it's mutual energies, but it's the energy of distance, it's the energy of fear, of depression, anxiety, the energies of out of balance, a connection that went emotionally out of balance. Um, but somebody here, absolutely, because we, um, we asked for mutual energies and we got two completely opposite energies. And I kind of think you are not at some point at the same page. One was afraid with the moon, while the other one was um, progressing steadily, right? Knight of Pentacles is, is let's be friends and see where this goes. So you are coming from two different places. Where are we right now, Leo? We do have the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy and the Three of Wands. So um, we are waiting on something here. We might be waiting on this person to come back. Um, the temperance is the energy of moderation and patience and um, uh, compromise. So probably you look at the current situation a little bit and you um, you are ready, right, to compromise and meet them halfway. Somehow we have you still waiting, right? That's the Three of Wands. And it's not any. Three of Wands is waiting for ships to come home. We know we've planted a seed and we know it's just a matter of time till it comes back to us, right? That's the... Uh, and again, for some of you, you might be waiting on a Sagittarius and, um, and, um, and that's it. Now the person you are dealing with, they want to talk to you. Absolutely. We do have the King of Cups and that's interesting. You have two different energies, um, Leo. You do have, um, the King of Swords twice and the King of Cups came up twice with the shuffling. So um, King of Cups and the Ace of Swords, they want to speak their emotions and that's beautiful, right? They want to talk to you, they want to have a conversation. This is the energy of vision, clarity and um, new beginnings, right? Now they know better. And it's kind of interesting, I wonder if it's not the same person uh, showing up with the energy of King of Swords as the overall energy while right now they are actually developing a vision, a plan, knowing an idea and this um this clarity now they know what they want that's interesting and it's the energy of conversations absolutely somebody wants to talk to you and probably they do right now you know because it's current situation so somebody is open um 
And I do love the King of Cups because the King of Cups has a very big cup of love for you, Leo. It's the energy of emotional maturity. They know what they want. They know um, what to pursue and there is no doubt in their mind that their emotional world goes towards you, right? Um, oh, I love this even more, Leo. Because um, we started by saying you were not on the same page in the past. We do have the moon and the knight of pentacles, right? One energy that is very emotional, one that is solid and grounded. Um, and now we have the star and the six of wands. So both of you, you are healing right now. And the six of wands is the energy of victory, is the energy of perseverance, is the energy of we're going to succeed. We're going to find a way, you know. It's like we both have to find a way to be successful in this. And the star is um, you are each other's um, wish fulfillment, right? Is wishing on a star. It's uh, really getting, really getting from uh, from the divine what you uh, what you desire. And absolutely, six of wands. You desire something, you fought for it. They desire something, they they fought for it. And it's your mutual energy. So I I go again to you are each other's wish fulfillment. So I wouldn't be that scared. It's interesting you go back to the Empress. So moving towards the end of April, um, Leo, we do have the Empress and we have the Nine of Swords, right? We have you stressed and still in love with this person, still wanting to give your world to them. This is the energy of, um, you know, love and abundance and creativity and sensuality and attractiveness, the energy of family. So we might have you a little bit concerned, right? End of April is, um, you know, some... Um, some downtime where we can actually uh, put something in place to kind of ease the mind because Nine of Swords speaks of your own um, your own mind and um, creating a little bit of obstacles and maybe you being your or your mind being the enemy when actually they need to be the friend. Now uh, the person you are dealing with moving towards the end of April we do have the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy again, but can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Seven of Cups. We have them a little bit confused. We have them daydreaming. We have uh, we have them a little bit contemplating choices and options. Um, and we know the Knight of Wands. Knights in general are about movement, right? Are, are about action. But we know what prevents them. This level of confusion confusion and illusion and for some of you they might have options I re I'm really not seeing and it's again isn't it interesting um it's quite interesting anyways I'm going to show you so um some of them might have options um you know but um I'm more sensing because knight of wands is quite a passionate one uh quite a, pa a passionate knight so they know what they want Mutual energies between the two of you, you go back to different pages, right? We do have the five of wands. So somebody here is beating themselves up. And I kind of believe because we have the five of wands and the seven of cups. And they come in April with the energy of seven of cups. So this soulmate of yours is fully confused. And, um, and, um, and I know right now we have the ace of swords, right? Clarity coming their way and a desire to communicate. And they go back to this energy of seven of cups, right? And confusion can come back to them again. Confusion can come from inability to move, inability to choose. Um, you know, maybe the clarity of the mind comes with options and, you know, making that option, making that choice maybe. However, this is, they, they dance between, right? Ace of Swords, I know exactly what they want. Two, Seven of Cups, okay, what am I supposed to choose now? And mutual energies towards the end of April, we have you again on your side, beating yourself up in stress. So I would really appreciate for you to, um, you know, to be aware of this and make sure you are in a safe space. And while being concerned a little bit is not the end of the world, it what, it's what keeps our brains um, in um, solution mode. Nine of Swords, Five of Wands. You know, we don't want to we don't want to victimize us all over again. And we do have the Seven of Cups. This is their energy, right? We have one fighting for this. We have one um, 
quite emotional about this. Seven of Cups, right? And again, a little bit uh, confused about the whole. I don't think they are confused about the bond. I believe they are confused about how to go by it, right? Um, what is the best option? What is the best the best action, right? To go by it. Um, what else? Hey, that's it. Let's ask for some guidance. Let's see if we uh, have to drop them at the curb or if we, um, anyways, right? Or we have to wait for them because right now we have you waiting you. It's the three of wands here. And healing, I love this. I love to see this. So let's see what, we have true love. Um, so Leo, we have, this is the romance of a lifetime. Bottom of the deck, we have release your ex. So probably in this connection, somebody needs to release somebody. And yeah, that this is true love. So let's um, ask for more guidance. Let's have my surrender cards and then we say goodbye. No, we're gonna have a guardian angel too. And then we say goodbye. We do have surrender your fear of change. Honestly, with all the seven of cups on their side, I believe this is more guidance for your soulmate. So they are afraid to change something. So it says the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. This can also be your energy, right? And this can also be the guidance for you. We ask for you, but hey. So the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith all is well. We do have surrender to success. So you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Um, you know what, Leo? And it's interesting um, because I'm getting, I'm going to have the bottom of the deck and then I'm going to tell you how I feel, okay? We do have surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. And we have let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. We have, and honestly, Leo, this can very well be for you. And it says, yeah, that is true love but you'll have to release them because after that you have surrender fear of change. So don't be afraid to change, um, you know, a relationship and go towards another one. Surrender success, which is don't look back, right? And surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. You know, when, you know, you've been in a connection for a long time and then say, no, I don't think I'm um, able again. Well, yes, you are able, you know? Yes, you can have another one. Um, let's have the guardian angel into just one, and then we say goodbye, okay? We say till, till the next time. Guardian of action, this can be you, this can be another fire sign. And bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. So it's time for you to step up and be the leader. Again, right, change. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun, so move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge, and loves the spotlight. Can be you. Um, Leo, right? King of Wands. And we do have the lovers. So allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time, and now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. Honestly, I believe that we need to release somebody. We don't have to be afraid of changes in your life and then love will show up. Right? Open your heart to lovers. So Leo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.